Now, a little later on in the show, my colleague François Picard will be bringing you a very special edition of the France 24 debate from the Place Dauphine, which is in the shadow of Paris's Belle de Justice, where all these hearings have been taking place. And he joins us now live from there. François, what more can you tell us? Well, we have a full house behind us, uh, Tom. Uh, uh, France 24's Karim Akiki, who's inside the courtroom, uh, says uh, there is not a single empty seat. Uh, some of the civil plaintiff lawyers are having to go to an annex room. Uh, only 500 seats inside that courthouse. Uh, all of the defendants uh, who uh, are free on bail are in the box. They're waiting. They were waiting a few minutes ago still uh, for uh, those that are behind bars, including uh, the lone survivor of that commando, Salo Abdesla, uh, to appear in the courtroom itself. A lot of anticipation. I earlier spoke with uh, Catherine. She's a survivor of uh, the attack on the uh, Stade de France. Remember, on the night of uh, November 13th, 2015, there was a, a friendly match between France and Germany. She was wearing her France a football kit as she waited online uh, to go in as one of the civil plaintiffs. Uh, she's attended 125 out of 150 sessions. This has been a 10-month trial. Uh, she said to me that um, she feels that uh, there isn't, there's very few people who haven't been changed by the past uh, 10 months. Uh, she thinks that it has been an important moment, uh, this trial, that rule of law is prevailing. And uh, what she wants most of all right now is for the verdict to be fair. Okay, Francois Picard in central Paris will be coming back to you, of course, very shortly.